Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how to uh, determine the end behavior of various polynomial functions. <clears throat> For starters, end behavior is what happens far to the right and far to the left on a polynomial. <clears throat> a lot of time is spent finding zeros where the polynomial makes a turn. Um, this specifically uh, deals with only the far, far right and left side. So um, let's just kind of look at uh, maybe a, a, a cubic for a moment. A cubic might look at <clears throat> something like that. Um, th when I talk about in behavior, we're talking about what happens over here. Does it go up or down? And then over here, same thing, up or down. So as x goes far to that side, or as x goes far to that side, in behavior is just a discussion of does the graph go up or does it go down. So with that being said, I'm going to draw a chart that will help you determine um, how what what's happening with a particular graph. <coughs> So there's two things that are going to impact the in behavior. Uh, one is the degree. And then the other is the leading coefficient. Uh, the degree can be an even or an odd number. Leading coefficient can be a positive or a negative number. Uh, if the even if the degree is even, that tells me that the graph is going to have both ends go the same direction. If the leading coefficient is positive, both ends go up. If the leading coefficient is negative, then both ends go down. If the degree is odd, we'll see some examples in a minute, uh, then the ends go opposite ways. Uh, if the leading coefficient is positive, the right goes up, the left goes down. And then likewise, if the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is negative, the right goes down and the left goes up. Let's look at some examples here, just algebraically, then we'll look at some pictures. Uh, let's look at 3x to the fifth minus 4x squared plus x minus 18. x squared minus 4, 7x plus 5, and negative x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, and then negative uh, 2x to the fourth plus x squared minus 8. We're going to look at each of these. <clears throat> For starters, uh, I'm going to look at the power. The degree is the power 5, 2, that's a 1, a 3, and a 4. Those are the degrees. Then the leading coefficient is the coefficient in front of the highest degree term. So that's a 3, a 1 there, a 7, a minus 1, and a minus 2. So something to think about is that for the end behavior, it's always going to be the only the first term that we're looking at. The rest of the polynomial has no impact on the end behavior. Um, for this first guy, the uh, let me just draw a little graph next to each of them. This will be just a very uh, low-key uh, version of what happens. Um, this is an odd power and a positive three leading coefficient. So the power is odd, the leading coefficient is positive. So this graph will go up to the right, down to the left. What happens in the middle, we don't know. You know who knows? Um, for this guy, uh, x to the second is even, and then it's a positive one. The right goes up and the left goes down. Uh, so maybe something like this, up to the right, excuse me, up to the right, up to the left, both sides go up. 
And uh, I actually recognize this. This is a quadratic. It's a parabola. And it actually has an intercept, y-intercept at negative 4. So that kind of looks like a parabola like that. Um, this is linear. Uh, the power is 1. That's odd. And the leading coefficient is 7. So the right goes up, left goes down, right goes up, left goes down. That's just a straight line, kind of like that. Um, this is a cube that is odd, and then the negative means that we're going to have an odd power with a negative leading coefficient. Uh, the right is going to go down, the left goes up, and maybe we'll see something kind of like that. And last, uh, this power, this degree is 4. That's even. The leading coefficient is negative. Uh, so we're going to have both right and left going down. I'm guessing it would look something like this since it's a fourth, but um, we're, we're not in the business of figuring out what happens in the middle of the graph right now. <clears throat> um, we've done a lot of that, finding the zeros, finding where the function turns, and right now we're only interested in finding what happens to the left and the right of the function. Um, let me show you some uh, notation that you might use uh, in um, determining in behavior and writing it down. Okay. So let um, let me just write an example down or draw it. Just a basic kind of cube looking function. Um, so sometimes there is notation that involves positive and negative infinity. Uh, this right here is the right. That means x goes to positive infinity. That means really far to that side. Uh, this is the left side. So we would say x goes to negative infinity there. This is y. y is going down here to negative infinity since it goes down forever. And this is y going up to positive infinity. So keep that in mind. Uh, so if I were to describe what happens here and say the left goes down, the right goes up, this is one way you could write that. This is a way you may see it written in books or, or uh, uh, in, a, in a text. As x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity. So that is what's going on here. If x goes left, as x goes left, y goes down. And uh, over here on the right, as x goes to positive infinity, y goes to positive infinity. As x goes right, y goes up. Let's write that in English. As x goes left, y goes down. And this is as x goes right, y goes up. So that's how you use the infinity notation to describe the end behavior of a graph. Let's do one more. We'll do a, a, a parabola. We'll just do a basic upward facing parabola. Both sides go up, so I could say uh, here as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. As x goes left, y goes up. And as x goes to positive infinity, uh, y goes to positive infinity. As x goes right, y goes up. Let's write this in English. As x goes left, y goes up. 
and as x goes right, y goes up. So that's just an alternative way to say the exact same things that are put in the table uh, that I showed you where x uh, yeah, as x goes left or right, 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 you can see that y either goes up or down. So that's a, a quick run through in behavior.